you open a project you wrote a few months ago and there it is staring back at you if state equals 1 or worse if attack types equals 3 and suddenly your brain hits a wall what the heck does one mean again was it idle running dead and 3 was that a sword attack a ranged one maybe magic you scroll up you dig through your old comments desperately trying to decode your own logic and that's when it hits you you were coding with magic numbers numbers that made perfect sense when you wrote them but mean absolutely nothing now and trust me it's not just confusing it's dangerous because your logic is now just one typo away from breaking and if you are working in a team good luck explaining what all those random numbers mean to someone else so how do we fix this mess with something powerful clean and built into most programming languages enums now i'll be honest for the longest time i ignored enums i used raw numbers in my code thinking eh i'll remember what three means spoiler i never remembered here's how most of us do it at first we declare a variable and maybe if we are feeling responsible we add a little comment explaining what the number means it works until you forget to write that comment or change the logic later and forget to update it or someone else joins your project and says wait what does 2 mean again even worse if you have got 10 different states that comment section turns into a chaos so what's the next step some people switch to strings that is slightly better at least it's readable but now you are relying on perfect spelling if you mistype idle as idle or idle with a space the code silently fails no error no crash just a bug that takes hours to find also comparing strings is slower than comparing numbers or enums not by a lot but it adds up especially in performance critical code like games so let's do it the right way let's use enums to declare an enum we use the enum keyword and then in the curly braces we write all the different values like idle walk and jump right now i'm using jd script but in other programming languages like c++ or java it is almost the same now instead of writing state equals 1 we can write state equals player state dot idle and in the if statements instead of numbers we can use the enum values like this now this is readable self documenting and safe you don't need to remember what one means you don't risk typos like you would with strings and you can easily add or remove states without rewriting your entire logic and the best part most code editors will auto complete enum values the moment you type player state the editor shows you all possible options that's your safety net but what exactly is an enum think of enums as named constants grouped together and treated like a custom type under the hood the enum above is equivalent to this but the cool thing is you don't have to manually define those numbers just use the names and let the language handle the rest now enums are not just nice to have they are one of the best tools most of us have been ignoring so next time you are about to type jump or three or hurt stop take a breath and make an enum your teammates will thank you your code will thank you and most importantly your future self will thank you